So I've been editing the video and I realized I haven't made one thing clear and that is I'm not paid for this. Dehancer is not paying me for making these videos. Maria from Dehancer reached to me to make a review of this uh, particular plugin and what you get from it is 10% off with my promotion code down in the description. Let's get back to the video so you can enjoy the review. And we are back with the plugin installations, but right now this plugin will be a uh, dehancer plugin for Photoshop and Lightroom Classic. Lightroom Classic only. Download the trial version, then you install it. Lightroom installer ARM in my case, because I have M1. So let's open it. Yes, installed. All right, so let's launch Adobe Lightroom. Let's move it somewhere. Preferences, same shortcut. External editing, application, choose, and we want Dehancer, right? Dehancer Lightroom, Lightroom plugin, yep. So this one, choose. Div, sRGB 8 bit, 240, compression, none, please. All right, let's set up. Let's try it. All right, let's do this one. So let's do edit in Dehancer. Okay, edit. Yeah, it created the second one files. Okay. Uh, update film profiles. That's the first thing. Okay, seems good. Activate the enhancer and the license key. My email and so after putting all the stuff in, you should be presented with this. Films. It's here. Alright. Now we're talking. All right, I am showing you in a little bit of fast and time lapse here on the screen how I modified this image, which I, I think should on some summer day, some flowers. The lighting was nice and I really like how the photograph turned out. And for the demonstration purposes, I chosen to show you this way. Let's talk pros and cons of the answer. Pro. It's easy to install, easy to use, it's at hand in the Lightroom and you can do basically anything. Another pro is the film emulations. There are like 63 of them and counting because the Hanser adds multiple of them, basically every new major version patch or at least there are some modifications of the already available ones. What I loved about them, they are really really nicely compared to the originals like when you're shooting film it's uh, the emulation is almost unrecognizable from the one uh, you've been shooting on the film but sure there are some differences again i think i did this in the video for ios but uh, sliders for hair and damages to the film and the emulation and everything else it's nicely done I think it's using some kind of AI technology or some other accounting algorithm how to add the hair and dust particles. Seems great to me. Let's talk cons. To be honest, I don't like it that much because I'm shooting film and I think if you want a grainy picture, just use film. That's it. Because the manufacturers of the cameras are going crazy to provide you with a sensor that will shoot 50 ISO. It will be fucking spotless in terms of film and you're still choosing to add grain in the post-processing. So if you want grain, if you want vintage looking films, shoot film. I think this is all I can say about the Lightroom plugin. This is it. But I think most of us will be more inclining to know more about this Dehancer plugin and what it can do in DaVinci itself and that's what next video is about. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one, bye bye.